afternoon YouTube. Um, we've been busy again in the garden today. Um, I have brought some of my cymbidiums out here. Um, we had this sort of square boxy thing. Um, we used it as a cold frame a while ago, but we don't need it now. Um, so I've put what I call my scruffy cymbidiums out here, um, which are all the... Um, the ones that my husband bought at the uh, old orchid nursery um, but this one is not a scruffy one as you can see it's a gorgeous yellow one um, one of my orchid buddies came to visit or I had a visit from some orchid buddies last weekend and he very kindly brought this for me and gave me this beautiful yellow cymbidium I mean it is striking I just love the darker yellow on the um, the edge of the lip there and it's beautiful so I was very happy with that um, at the moment we're not getting any frost at night so I'm going to leave it out here because I think it looks gorgeous there with the sun on it at late afternoon sun and um, you know if there's any threat of frost then I will move it right so as you can see oh the other thing I brought out is I've repotted all my begonias um, not begonia rex, tuberous begonias um, and I have got some um, frost cloth on them just to keep them happy until the better weather comes. I'm not expecting anything to happen with those for at least two months or a month at least so but they're out here out the way so I can um, move about a bit better over by the orchid house. Um, so I've got a bit of a dilemma um, as you know my husband and I worked very hard um, setting up this orchid shade house um, and I'm extremely happy with it. I'm really looking forward to bringing the orchids out here um, and like I say I had a meeting um, last weekend and um, two of the guys that came out, I mean they've been growing orchids for quite a, quite a while and um, I showed them this area because I didn't discuss it with anything, it was just an idea that came to me and, and I ran with it. Um, and one of them seemed quite keen, you know, one of them was like, oh yeah, you know, that's a really good idea. And the other one wasn't so keen, um, which threw the spanner in the works really. And he said, the one that wasn't keen, that he doesn't know of anybody in New Zealand on the South Island, because uh, you know, New Zealand is divided into two islands, on the South Island that um, keeps their orchids outside in summer other than the Cymbidiums. So I thought, oh no, I thought we'd have a change of venue while um, I'm prattling on. So anyway, he doesn't know anybody who um, keeps their orchids outside in the summer on the South Island. And that really threw a spanner in the works for me because I thought, oh, you know, all my good intentions of um, moving it, the majority, anyway, the majority of these orchids outside um, it's now put me in a position where I'm I'm not sure what to do um, so I mean I was hoping somebody could help me I know you know people don't want to say oh yeah yeah go ahead in case everything goes wrong but I'll just explain um, a little bit about um, the weather conditions on the South Island um, so we can have very dry summers um, um, very hot summers and um, I'm not too worried about the humidity or anything like that because I've set up my husband's going to finish setting up the misting system so you know on hot days I can have it on a timer and I can have it coming on you know for a minute you know five times a day if necessary you know I'll buy a decent timer and do that and I am home quite a lot so I can keep an eye on them so the humidity is not really an issue um air movement is a little bit more difficult because obviously I can't have electricity out there because it's out you know it's in the open when it rains they're going to get rained on um so you know I'm I'm in a Oh, I suppose it's the wet, the the temperatures I'm more concerned about. Not so much the heat. I'm more. I mean, I'm concerned about the heat in here. If I left them all in here, I mean, we were up to thirty five today, you know, and it's the first day of spring. Not thirty five outside, but in this orchid house, it was thirty five. Um, but I am concerned about the cold. You know, more or less the cold out there. So I'm thinking. Um, when I look through my my list of 
uh, orchids what I've got and what conditions they like. I've only got about, other than the Phalaenopsis and the Vanda, the Vanda there and the one I've got in the pot, um, other than those, I don't have warm a lot of warm growing orchids. Most of them are intermediate or cool growing. So I'm thinking, you know, if they've coped through most of my winter before I put this greenhouse up, um, with you know barely being able to reach five to eight degrees at night, surely they are going to be able to cope with that out, you know, out in the fresh air where you know a lot of them would benefit considerably out in the sunshine or you know um, under that shade netting um, which I think they'll benefit even more um, so I don't know I'm I'm sort of like oh god you know we've put all that effort into doing the the, the shade tunnel if you like um, it's not going to go to waste because you know there will be things I can put in there like I can put begonias and that in there but I'm just thinking you know, I really want to use it for the orchids. It's going to make watering and misting and all that kind of thing a lot easier. I'm going to be able to keep things a lot cooler. Like, I don't intend to put the Mastervillias in there because they like it a, a bit darker. Um, but I can certainly put, you know, most of the Cattleyas, the Oncidiums, the Encyclias, the Layla Cattleyas, um, you know, the Epidendrums. Um, the zygos and, and the zygos are cool growing. Um, what else have I got? Sarcolias, sarcolias. Oh, I can never say that. Sarcos. Um, you know, bifinar, yeah, bifinara, maxillara, um, bobophyllum. Uh, what else have I got? Brassia. You know, so I've got quite a few, and I'm thinking they probably could all probably go out there. So I was just really, um, asking your advice i mean obviously you know um it's difficult for you to say because of my conditions here and also you know a lot of these um have come from the north island now i'll just explain the north island when i discuss my my idea up at the society um show that i went and where i purchased some plants I was talking to one of the main growers up there and um, explaining my situation and he understood where I lived um, so he knows that I'm not you know I'm not in a in the humid heart hot hot part of New Zealand he, he knew exactly where I meant when I explained where I live and he seemed to think it was a brilliant idea especially if I set up the misting system so um yeah so <laughs> it's just I don't need you to make the decision for me but I was just wondering if you could give me some ideas what you think maybe is a good or a bad or you know whatever you think I'd much appreciate it I mean obviously it's up to me whether I follow the advice or no um so don't anybody worry you know I'm going to go ahead and do it and not think about it because obviously I'm, I am going to think about it um, so that was it really I just wanted yeah I just wanted to share my dilemma with you so anyway um, I think that's all for now it's getting late I need to take the dogs for a walk um, and my back is killing me actually I've done quite a bit of lifting today so I think enough, time's enough in the garden anyway so thanks for watching please like or dislike and subscribe and any comments I'd very much appreciate so bye for now